Now we're going to introduce the concept of dollar signs. So just going back to the previous example you did, I just want to show you what the problem is and how the, this solves it. So if you remember, we had our net profit here. We've got a tax rate. And when we built the calculation, we said something to the effect of equals the net profit multiplied by the tax rate. We click Enter. Now that's great. And if you look at what it's looking at, it's looking here and here. But the way Excel works with copies, if I copy that and paste it one to the right, notice that it's now looking at D19, which is correct, the net profit for February. But it's actually no longer looking at the tax rate, it's moved one to the right. So what we'd have to do is now go in here and say, no, no, let's fix that and put it over here. But the problem is, as you go across, you will continually have to go and say, oops, I need to fix that, so let's tell it to go look over here. So that's the problem when you do a copy. The way copy works is it looks at the formula, and if it looks like that, it says, okay, you've copied me to the right, I'm going to move, C will become D, B will become C. And that's where the dollars come into play, because we can clearly see that every time I went here, I went back and changed it, go back to P, B21, go back to B21. What the dollar signs do is they tell Excel, do not move the cells. So when I calculate this formula, and I refer to B21, if I put a dollar sign in front of the B, and I put a dollar sign in front of the 21, what I'm telling Excel is it doesn't change that formula, but now when I copy it and I paste it to the right, I'm going to control V, you'll see the formula now says D19, but it says times B21. So the formula has adjusted itself here correctly, but you've put the dollar sign. So what we're saying is do not move that B21. So I can now copy and I can paste it all the way to here. And what you'll see is even this one here, the first part is correct. It had to move, so it's moved to June. But where you would have had to manually go in and keep changing back to B21, because we put the dollar signs in, we're now telling Excel to not change where you look. If there's dollar signs in front of the B and the 21, you must always look at B21. This is going to be a very important concept, and we're going to reteach it again and again and becomes as important in intermediate and advanced. So it's well worth getting a good understanding of it now.